In spite of the title, this video isn't a philosophical discussion. It's about making decisions. A powerful feature of PHP is its ability to perform different actions depending on the outcome of a condition. The condition must be either true or false. PHP isn't capable of understanding such subtleties as maybe. In computing terminology, true and false are known as Booleans. They're named for George Boole. He was a 19th century English mathematician who developed what's known as Boolean algebra, which uses two values, zero for false and one for true. This laid the foundations for the ones and zeros that underpin modern computer logic. In PHP, Booleans can be either explicit or implicit. First, let's take a look at explicit Booleans. There are just two of them, the keywords true and false. These keywords are case insensitive, so you can spell them all uppercase. You can even use a crazy mixture of uppercase and lowercase, although it's not a good idea. But, and this is vitally important, you must not enclose these keywords in quotes. In addition to the explicit Boolean keywords, true and false, PHP supports the concept of implicit Booleans. Sometimes you'll hear these referred to as truthy and falsy values. The following values are regarded as false in PHP. Zero as a number or enclosed in quotes. An empty string, in other words, single or double quotes with no space in between. An empty array. The special data type null, which is also a case-insensitive keyword. Null means no value in the sense that the value doesn't exist. As a result, variables that don't exist or that have been unset are also treated as false. However, trying to use an unset variable will normally generate a warning notice, so it's not a good idea to use one in a condition. A simple XML object created from empty tags is also regarded as implicitly false. Simple XML is beyond the scope of this course, so you can ignore it at this stage. Everything else is true. Even minus one is true. So here comes a PHP paradox that frequently trips up beginners. It looks as though OK has been set to false. Wrong. It's true, because false is in quotes, so it's a string. Only an empty string with nothing between the quotes is false. As a string, false between quotes is implicitly true. Decision-making in PHP can also be controlled by comparing two non-Boolean values. For example, whether one number is greater than, equal to, or less than another. This also produces true or false. And based on whether something is true or false, different code can run. The rest of this chapter explores how to use this branching logic in PHP.